Breaking news! The Miami Dolphins find themselves at a pivotal point in the AFC East and the larger NFL playoff picture. As Week 12 approaches, the Dolphins sit at 4-6, preparing to host a divisional rival in the New England Patriots. I have great confidence in the job the coaches are doing with the team, and I believe we will beat the Patriots. If you do too, hit the like button on the form. If possible, write something like, Let's go Dolphins! Let's beat the Patriots! This matchup is not only a chance for Miami to improve its record, it is a moment to solidify its position in a highly dynamic and evolving AFC East landscape. Recent events in the division have set the stage for significant opportunities, but also for potential long-term challenges. Let's start with the New York Jets, a team whose recent implosion has reshaped the competitive dynamics of the division. The Jets, currently 3-8, have undergone a complete organizational overhaul. They parted ways with their general manager, Joe Douglas, just weeks after the firing of head coach Robert Sala. It signals a full-scale rebuild for a franchise that went all-in last year, acquiring star players like Aaron Rodgers, Tyron Smith, and Devontae Adams. Unfortunately for them, Rodgers' Achilles injury in Week 1 has derailed their hopes, and their high-profile investments have paid off little on the field. Their defense, led by players like Sauce Gardner, has been lackluster, and their offense has struggled with an underperforming roster. This collapse benefits Miami in the short term, as the Jets are unlikely to be a major threat in the AFC East for several seasons. For Dolphins fans, this is not only a relief, but also a reminder of how fleeting success can be in the NFL. The Jets' dysfunction provides Miami with an opportunity to solidify their place as a dominant team in the division, especially with the Buffalo Bills maintaining their competitive form. But it's not all sunshine for the Dolphins. Another divisional rival, the New England Patriots, is showing signs of resurgence that could complicate Miami's plans in the coming years. The Patriots, despite a rocky start to the season, have transitioned to rookie quarterback Drake May, the third overall pick from North Carolina. Since stepping into the starting role in Week 6, May has been a revelation. His dual-threat abilities and arm talent have drawn praise from analysts across the league, with Dan Orlovsky calling him a potential offensive rookie of the year contender. In just seven games, May has completed nearly 67% of his passes and accounted for 10 total touchdowns. This is particularly impressive given that the Patriots have one of the NFL's worst defensive lines and a depleted roster of weapons. Even with these limitations, May has managed to elevate the team's offense, making him a player to watch not just this week, but for seasons to come. This Sunday, Miami will get its first up-close look at May as they face New England at Hard Rock Stadium. While the Dolphins are early seven-point favorites, this game is anything but a guaranteed win. May's athleticism and ability to extend plays could pose problems for Miami, which has historically struggled against dual-threat quarterbacks like Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. This matchup isn't just about this season, it's about setting the tone for future encounters. If May continues to develop, he could become a serious long-term threat within the division. Adding to the challenge, the Patriots are positioned to make major moves in the offseason. With nearly $40 million in cap space, the most in the NFL, New England has the flexibility to address their roster deficiencies aggressively. There's already speculation that they could target high-profile free agents like T. Higgins, who would be an ideal fit as a number one receiver for May. Combined with draft capital and the ability to rebuild their offensive line, the Patriots are quietly laying the groundwork for a rapid resurgence. For Miami, this means that the window to dominate the division could close faster than anticipated, especially if the Patriots become playoff contenders as early as next year. But it's not all doom and gloom. The Dolphins have several key advantages in their favor. With Tua Tagovailoa, Tyreek Hill, and Jalen Ramsey leading the way, Miami is firmly in their win-now window. The team also has one of the easiest remaining schedules in the league, ranked as the fourth easiest overall. Four of their next seven games are against sub-.500 teams, including two against the Jets, one against the Patriots, and another against the Cleveland Browns. Winning all four of these games is critical if Miami wants to stay in the playoff hunt. With their playoff hopes hanging in the balance, the Dolphins must treat every game like a must-win. The path is clear. They need to finish the season strong to secure a wild card spot. But their margin for error is slim. Analysts project that a 10-7 record will be the minimum requirement for postseason qualification. This means Miami likely needs to win at least six of their remaining seven games, with critical matchups looming against teams like the San Francisco 49ers and Houston Texans. A victory against New England this week would be a significant step forward, but a loss could put their playoff aspirations in serious jeopardy. As the Dolphins prepare for this crucial stretch, fans can't help but look ahead to what the future holds for the AFC East. 
With the Jets in disarray and the Patriots rebuilding with a promising young quarterback, the division is undergoing a transformation. The question now is whether Miami can capitalize on this moment and establish themselves as a perennial contender. With so much on the line, Sunday's game against New England is about more than just improving their record. It's about proving that the Dolphins are ready to seize the opportunity in front of them. What do you think, Dolphins fans? Are you confident that Miami can make the playoffs this year? Or are you more concerned about the long-term rise of the Patriots and the competition in the AFC East? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates as we cover every twist and turn of the Dolphins season. Stay tuned! Beyond Week 12, the Dolphins face a fascinating set of challenges and opportunities. The immediate focus is winning the next two games against the Patriots and then the Green Bay Packers on Thanksgiving Day. These two contests will define whether Miami can realistically push for a playoff spot or fall short in a season filled with ups and downs. A win against New England would bring their record to 5-6, to six, but the critical game is the Thanksgiving matchup in Green Bay. An upset victory there would put Miami at 6-6 six to six with five games remaining, setting the stage for a dramatic run to the postseason. The Dolphins' schedule after these two games favors them heavily. They play two games against the spiraling Jets, one against the struggling Cleveland Browns, and matchups with Houston and San Francisco. Realistically, the team needs to go 4-0 to zero in these winnable games and split their matchups against the Texans and 49ers. This path to a 10-7 record isn't just plausible, it's attainable. However, it demands near-flawless execution from a team that has shown inconsistencies throughout the season. Looking beyond this year, Miami must prepare for the shifting landscape in the AFC East. While the Jets appear to be heading into a full rebuild, the Patriots' potential resurgence under Drake may looms large. The rookie quarterback has already proven he can make plays despite limited support, and with the Patriots poised to spend big in free agency, they could quickly become a formidable force. Miami's management needs to think strategically about how to sustain their success while countering the Patriots' growth. This means the Dolphins can't afford to be complacent. With Tua Tagovailoa at quarterback, Tyreek Hill as an elite offensive weapon, and a strong defensive core led by Jalen Ramsey, Miami has the pieces to compete now. But they must continue building for the future to stay ahead in what is rapidly becoming one of the NFL's most competitive divisions. If the Patriots make the right moves in free agency and the draft, the Dolphins could face fierce competition from a revitalized New England team sooner than expected. For now, Miami must focus on controlling what they can. Their playoff hopes rest on their ability to capitalize on the favorable schedule and deliver in critical games. Winning against New England is step one, and maintaining momentum through the next stretch of games is non-negotiable. The team's performance over the next two weeks will determine whether fans have reason to believe in a postseason push or start looking toward the offseason. Dolphins fans, the stakes couldn't be higher. Can Miami navigate this critical moment and secure a spot in the playoffs? Are you more concerned about the immediate challenges of this season, or does the long-term rise of Drake May and the Patriots keep you up at night? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for all the latest Dolphins updates as we track their journey through one of the most pivotal periods in recent franchise history.